amateur practices until they get it right. A professional keeps practicing until they won't get it wrong. We have one time to get it right. So that means you have to focus in on your craft. If you don't care about your craft, then stop practicing. But if you want to be the national champion, show up at the gym. It doesn't matter how good you think you are, always strive to improve. That's the message that Dan Ambrose projects through all of these programs. I like to think of Dan as like the Tony Robbins of, of, uh, of the circuit. After the first day, I knew it was already worth the time and money. I think that this was important to do, and you know we're going to do business in the future now as a result of the first two days, I'll tell you that. I give it a 10 out of 10. I've met several new friends, going to dinner with new people every night, and learning a lot from Rex. I've been in the main session the whole time. Just having a blast. These are really the only opportunities we have to come and interact with other people who are trying to do the same thing that we are, and they have done it well. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are guys here who have done that. And not only have they done that, they're willing to teach you how to do it. And that's the power of TLU. And I think we need to stop acting like, I want to be like this person. What you need to realize is that I want to be like myself, and I want to fill my toolbox full of all of these things I've learned from a variety of people to help my client in every way possible. Dan's attitude is you need to put the work in, the homework, the preparation to bring something of value to the attendees. And that's very special. The more competent the, the attorneys are in this country, the better country we have, the better our quality of life, the more fairness we have, the more justice we have. You are going to be watching experts who do this stuff day in and day out. That's who you want to learn from. We aren't just getting up here talking about things that we read in a book. We're up here talking about things that we did on Friday in court. Everybody that, that passes the bar, everybody, if they do the work, if they really figure out what are the discrete skills they need that they don't have, and then they study them and practice them, they will be great. I really believe that. But nobody gets there by themselves. There's no one way to advocate. Everyone has a different voice. And the more voices I heard, the more I thought, well, my voice fits in there somehow. People need to learn to read the room, understand the space, how to use their body, how to use their hands, their voice, the furniture, the echo in the room, all of that. It's engaging, it's listening, it's telling a story, and learning when to introduce information, being affected by it, being real. The story is the case. And if I can't tell a compelling story, then they're just facts and people, what resonates with them is the emotion. If you think about it, information throughout history is passed down in the format of a story. You know, we do this unconsciously in everyday conversation, but the moment we get in front of people, then our ego gets in the way, we become self-conscious, and we become concerned with how people view us. When you have programs like this, where you can give, then you're not reflecting so much on yourself, you're reflecting on your purpose. You talk to these guys that are doing it, and you find out, well, wait a minute, he's not superhuman. He's just like me, or she's just like me. And, and I think that gives you the incentive to take what they're teaching and put it into practice. If you leave from Travelers University without having learned something, that's your fault because there's vast knowledge being shared and you can see everyone absorbing it. You're getting the best content. Everyone's accessible. You're going to take something away that's going to help all of your clients. And the vibe's great. You're going to have fun. You're going to be energized. We can all you know, talk about, oh, I got this settlement, I got this verdict. How did you get it? Why did you get it? What did you do wrong with it? I had spent two years with Trial Lawyers University just studying all the greats and what they do and how I can apply it, how I can tweak it, how I can change it. And so I really got to just bring all those skills out and they worked. You're going to make connections with other people. I can send an email to Rex Paris and he'll pay attention to me. I can call Dan Ambrose and say, Dan, I'm having a problem with this. These people are giving. I have been around some of the finest legal minds in the country who are sharing with me everything they know. We're not just getting a, a trickle of knowledge here. We've got our mouth in front of a fire hydrant. You want to be a master? Come to TLU and learn from the best of the best. Openly sharing their light with you, passing it on to you, and go out and use it for the betterment of the world.